speciesism. It's the first form of hatred humans are taught. Way before racism, sexism, and heterosexism, heterosexism is taught, speciesism is the first form of hatred. Let's eradicate that, and then maybe we can eradicate all the other forms of hatred, because I'll tell you what, I know the way we're doing it right now isn't working. Eating meat, cheese, milk, and eggs certainly isn't making this world a better place. It's making the world a worse place. Let's make an effort. And as we talk about evolution, by the way, I don't want to force evolution on people out there that are creationists. Real quickly, if you believe in creation, by uh, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, look no further than the Garden of Vegan. Oops, the Garden of Eden, that vegan haven where Adam and Eve were the first vegans on this planet. Genesis 129, God's first dietary laws, I give you seed-bearing plants for food. God's last dietary laws, Isaiah 11, 7. The wolf will live with the lamb, the cow will feed with the bear, the lion will eat straw like the ox, a child will lead them, and no one will harm on my holy mountain. It is clear and unambiguous, the beginning and the end are and will be vegan. So why don't we strive towards these perfect states? And for my religious friends that are out there, I learned a really valuable lesson last time I was here in Israel last September. They took me to see the holy city, Jerusalem. I say this with vehement sarcasm because there ain't nothing holy about it. Because as I walked into Jerusalem, first I passed 3,000 vendors hawking items. Hey, stars of David, crosses, Bibles, Korans, palaces, yarmulkes, what you need. As my wife Erica was grabbing everything and looking at me, made in China, made in China, made in China, made in China. Yeah, that's what everybody, that's what God wants. Sell some stuff in my name. Then we got into the Wailing Wall area. Boy, that was a treat. Because what did I see but 400 people standing in front of a fucking wall going like this? It's a wall! You're praying to a wall? God is not in a wall. He is not in a book. He is not in a star. I'll tell you what God is in because I know what he's in. God is in his creations. How come religious people refuse to worship anything that God made, but worship everything that we made in his name? Boy, let a Bible fall on the ground. Boy, let the palace touch the ground. Oh my God, the palace touch the ground. Boy, but an animal like God created, hey, kill it. Kill that son of a bitch right now. Cut his horns off right now. Fuck him. Take his baby away. Screw him. Every animal that God made, God is inside of. And if you kill animals, you are murdering God. And that is blasphemous and obscene. Wake up, religious people. Wake up. Because I'll tell you what, I believe in God. And I respect the things that God made. The water, the air, the oceans, the forest, and his animals. It's not asking too much. Stop doing rituals. God is not impressed if you have a really long beard, by the way. If you got a really big hat. You think God's looking, hey, look at that guy with that hat on. That's one of my most favorite creations. The guy with the big hat. <laughs> I do crack myself up.